uh, hi guys uh, in this video we'll talk about how to do animation in excel and especially animation of uh, particles moving in random direction um, this uh, video uh, will be for the very basic users you don't have to have any background and uh, you will learn how what is random walk and uh, uh, how do you do animation and how do you visualize that random walk so this is one of the examples so you can see there is a chart here and when i click animate then I can see the particles moving around. So if you want to learn how to do this, uh, it will take just uh, 15 or 20 more minutes and uh, you will be all set and no programming background is required. So let me start uh, uh, how to do this. So so let me go from the basic. So now I have an empty sheet here, right? So I can go to the developer tab uh, if you don't have a developer tab you can always click uh, on file options uh, there is a ribbon uh, column a ribbon there if you click on the ribbon then you can select uh, this uh, developer tab if you select check the developer tab you will show up so let's say view code so now i have a view code and uh, it sh says uh, sheet 2 right so this is my sheet 1 which already had the code right so now in the sheet 2 i have no code right so what I'll do is I'll start with the sub. So I'll say sub. Uh, so I, even I don't have a very strong background in programming, but um, whenever I have to start a new program, I write sub here. And then I'll say uh, animate. So this is my program. And I'll just put two parentheses and say enter. So animate is the name of my programming. Two parentheses you add, you click enter. Then you automatically click, uh, get a line saying end sub that means you have to have your program within these two lines and this is your program called animate right so now what i'll do is i'll say cells and, and then i'll put a bracket it says which row right so it's ask me for the row so row if you know this one two three is four these are the rows and these are the columns right so let's go here back again and i'll say uh three comma three so i'll say three comma three is equal to one right and then i run this command so now you can see i have three comma three so let me call these columns let me name this column so that is it's easier for for uh, our viewers so now you can see that these are the column numbers and this is the row number so if you look at the three and three so this is my three and this is my three so both of the threes you have one here right so because I clicked run here so this is my program so now I know how to do programming here right so I can do the same thing I can say cells I can copy here and I can instead of three I can say four column four right so I can say enter so I have now two ones here right so this is good now I don't want ones I want a random box so for a random walk I need a random step random step which is not defined by me uh, which just computer picks a random number so you can have a command called is equal to r a n d parenthesis close so that is nothing it's just a command called random walk uh, it, it just a command called random number it will give you a number between 0 and 1 right so if i do this and i click start so now you get a random number between 0 and 1 if i do it again I get something else 0 0.7 if i do it again 0 0.757 now this is between 0 and 1 but this is a random walk i want to go both in negative and positive direction so how will i do that i'll do that by saying 1 minus 2 into random number so think about it you can pause the video and think about it this is just a, a multiplying random number from 0 to 1 by 2 that means i have a random number between 0 and 2 and when I subtract that from one, I get a random number between minus one and one, right? So I'll do the same thing for the next cell also and say enter. So now you have, I have two random numbers and I'll call them as steps. So this is my DX and this is DY. This, these are the steps, right? And this is particle one, right? So I have steps now. Now, once I have the step, how can I have a uh, walk? Now, the walk and steps are different because once you take a step, you don't go back to reverse that step. You take additional step. That's how the walk will be. 
So what I need to do is I just need to keep adding this step up. So how will I do that? I'll say cells. Now I want to add a step in the next column. So that will be three comma uh, five. Yes, column five. So that's equal to now again, I'm going to add the same cell because this is a random walk. So I'm going to add the same cell and then I'm going to add the first step. So this is the first step. So this will be the step. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it here. So this is the step now. So now if I click here, this is the step, right? So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to take this again. I'm going to put it here and this will be for six and uh, this will be four and this will be six now i have two steps here right so i'll call this as x and this is y so now i have a walk uh, how will i visualize this walk I'll, I'll go here i'll say insert and a chart and now this is a chart so in this chart i'll make uh, uh, i can see two particles so let me say that uh, select data add it x here and uh, y here now oh, this is this is cool this is okay i'm gonna define the axis if i define the axis that will make it easier for me to visualize the animation otherwise uh, axis will keep changing and the particle will look like it's still at the same place so so i said minus 50 to 50 and same for this one I'll say minus 50 and this is 50. Now now I have this axis here, right? I, I'll delete this thing and uh, I can also delete this axis. Now I don't need them anymore. This is just for an egg. I can also get rid of these grids. Now I have the random walk. So if I go here and I click, so you can see that when I click, the particle is moving around and you if you look at the x and y so y is 4.3 x is almost close to minus 1 but x and y are all within minus 1 to 1 so that means the walk is happening so particle moved away from 0 uh, but uh, uh, but the walk uh, the steps are still the same right so now i have a random walk but this random walk uh, is I can't just keep clicking and, and looking at the random walk, right? So I want computer to do it for me. So what I'll do is I'll put a loop here. So how will I put a loop? I'll say four uh, I is equal to one to hundred and then say next I. So that's it. So four means that uh, I will go from one to hundred and each time I will I will be I plus one. So next I means next uh, iteration or next step. So it will keep doing it 100 times. That's all. I just need to put whatever I want to do 100 times. I'll just put it in between these. I can also do it 1000 times. I can say 1000 here, right? So now I can press enter. But when I press start, then I can see the random walk happened. So you can see X become 35, Y become six. But I could not see the random walk. It just happened very fast. So because so that I can see that, I'll put another thing called do events. So in do events, Excel will make sure that it will plot it first and then it will do the calculations again. So that uh, that way you can you can see that, right? So now let me go back and make it zeros. Go back here and now press enter. So now you can see that the particle is moving around so now you can see the particle is moving around so this is a uh, animation of one particle so isn't it cool so this is how you do the animation now what we need we just need 20 particles like that so how will i do that i'll put one more loop i'll say 4 j is equal to 1 to 20 and then here i'll put j is equal to Oh, or next J so I'll, I'll put one more loop I did add one more loop here right so that's it I added one more loop and uh, I'll say I'll not say J is equal to uh, I'll say J is equal to 3 here and I'll say 23 here and all I need to do is in, in this X I'll replace 
in the in the cells i'll just replace 3 with j so basically instead of only row 3 i'm going to have uh all the rows uh like from 3 to 23 so i'm going to have 20 particles so j j so that's it when i do that and i press now you can see that i have a lot of particles in the background but uh, let me stop this and uh, so i can call them as so i can bring it here i can close this down and i can say this as particle 1 2 3 something yeah my computer is slow that's why it's uh it's doing this funny things yep yeah so i have 21 particles to be exact so and now i need to plot all of them so i'll say select data add it and the x values are these again it's doing the same thing i'll just click on 23 here and then i click 23 here say okay and then okay and okay so now these are my particles but this is already the animation already happened so that's why they already looked uh, like they moved right so so we're going to go here so now the program is done so what i'll do is i'll go through a developer tab and say insert a button and now i draw a button here i'll say which program i'll say animate because it's the program i just made right so i'll say okay and that's it and i can also rename this program oh it i clicked in clicked on it by mistake but uh, yeah so this is the animation so we can always even delete them in the middle of the animation and they, now you can see they again start from the from the zero right yeah so now it stopped so i can say uh add a text and i can call this as animate and i can enlarge this thing just to have a better visualization click animate here let me go back to the program and call this as instead of doing 1000 i'll do 10000 loop so that i have non stop animation right yep a thousand now i'm here i'll make delete this i'll say animate and now you can see that the pro particles are moving around uh any time i can click like this and they will start from zero so this is how you do the animation so this is a random walk of multiple particles or the random diffusion now this concept uh, uh, can also explain the diffusion so suppose if you are wearing a perfume and uh, how the particles will move in the air so they're going to randomly go everywhere in the room so if this, there's a person who's far away from you the particles will slowly reach that person it will take some time when the person is closer they can smell it faster but less number of particles going to reach to the person who is far away so they might or might not be able to smell it but this is how the random walks look like So I hope this uh, video help and uh, if you like this video please don't forget to thumbs up and do subscribe to Garg University or our our channel other channels and uh, we will be we'll have more videos like that um uh, uh to share with you okay see you guys bye